Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Microsoft SQL database. If you already know how to do that, then feel free to skip to the next video. This video is only to create a simple database. So here I have my SQL Server Management Studio. On the database, I'm going to right click and new database. The name is Rivus Database. And then click OK. On the database, under tables, I'm going to create a new table. ID must be integer. And I'm going to set this as a primary key. And now right here on the properties, under is identity, I'm going to set as yes. And then increment one and identity seeds one. So what this does is increases the value by one every time I insert a name in CD. In other words, that's going to be the primary key for our database with auto increment value. So click on save and the name of this table is going to be person. So very simple table. And now I'm going to go over security and under logins, I'm going to right click, new login. The login name is going to be Grievous user. Click on SQL Server Authentication, password, I'm going to make very simple, ABC123. And I am not going to enforce password policy. If this was a production database, it would be another story, a different setting. But for learning purpose, only for simplicity, I am not going to enforce password policy. And then under User Mapping, I'm going to click on the database and I'm going to check reader and writer. Click OK. And now I'm going to disconnect and only for testing purpose, I'm going to try to connect back. But this time, instead of Windows authentication, I'm going to put SQL Server authentication. I'm going to put the user that I just created and a password and I'm going to try to connect. And if you connect, that's great. It works. If you try to open a database that's not yours, you should have an error. So this user should be able only to open and see the database that was assigned to this user. Under tables, I have a person table here. Only for testing purpose, I'm going to try to insert something. And the name, I'm going to insert Joe. And CD, I'm going to insert Seattle. Execute. Good. And now I'm going to do a select. And sure enough, Joe is right there together with Seattle. Notice that the ID is one and I did not insert the ID. That's because the settings for this column is set to be a identity and also auto increment. So every time you insert another value, the key increases by one. The last thing you need to check if it is if your database is enabled for people to log in using the SQL authentication. So I'm going to just connect again. And I'm going to connect back this time as a Windows authentication. And then right click on the instance, not on the database, but on the instance. Go on properties. And under security, make sure you have SQL Server and Windows authentication modes. If you don't have, click here. 
and then after that you have to reboot the database rebooting the computer will not work you must reboot the database to reboot the database open a program called SQL Server Configuration Manager and then right click on, on the instance and restart on the next video I'm gonna show you how to insert values on this database from the web application so that's all for this video thanks for watching this is easy and you can do it